Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Bowser Jr. Fan 13, and welcome to my uh to another Let's Play because it's been a long time since I've ever done any Let's Plays on the channel. And today, welcome to my first Let's Play of Blaze Blue Central Fiction. I've been dying to play some games for you guys in like the last few years because it's been way too long since I've done that. And so I thought, why not play some arcade mode of Blaze Blue Central Fiction for you guys? All right, and I'm playing arcade mode because I want to learn a little bit more about some of these characters because I haven't played their arcade modes yet, and I want to go in blind uh, for some of these characters. So for today, we are going to be doing an arcade run of Naoto Kurogane because I want to learn a little bit more about this character. And yes, I'm going to be playing the game in stylish mode because I am not good at fighting games. If you got a problem with that, then... All right then. Hey guys, Bowser Jr. Fan 13 here. Um, listen, I just wanted to give a little information on Naoto Kuragane for those who are like not too familiar with him. So uh, Naoto uh, is a character that hails from the Blaze Blue comics or uh, manga known as Blood Edge Experience, and he's basically a high school student who is also an easy kite version of Ragna wielding a drive known as Blood Edge that makes him a little similar to him. And on top of that, he's also related to someone named Saya Terami, which is like a nod to Ragna's sister Saya and could be a nod to Yuki Terami or something like that. And he's also friends with uh, Raquel Alucard, who he's looking for, who she is, is basically another version of Rachel Alucard. All right, so we're going to start out with Act 1 of Arcade Mode. And Naoto wields Blood Edge, which of course is his drive. So who's my first opponent? Okay, bang, all right, let's go. And sorry if my camera quality is like, uh, like this, because... Well, I don't have, like, a uh, good equipment, or I, I have, a, like, a very low budget, so that's why you're gonna have to stick with this. Right, let's do this. Right, let me hit him with an overdrive. Nice. <laughs> I honestly love how Naoto changes his hair color uh, white and his eyes red to make himself look like Ragna because, well, for story reasons, he is very similar to Ragna. I mean, look at this. He, he can literally do Ragna's Inferno Divider, but without the sword. Alright. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna show you guys some, uh, I'm gonna see if I can pull off an astral key for you guys. 
Oh dang, Bang is in Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> and yes, I call it Super Saiyan mode because every time he's in his Super State, he always has his theme song playing. Well, his other theme song, not the one that's playing during the fight. And that's honestly so cool because Bang is such an anime -ish character. He's more, I mean, he's literally more anime than everyone else in the entire cast. And, and that's saying something. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There is no afterlife. Only the void. I'm, ima I'm imagining that's what Naoto is saying because he does say that in his astral heat. Whoa, you mean you've got Ninja 2? This world is like a theme park. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just... Alright, because Naoto doesn't know this uh, place. He, has, he doesn't know uh, what the world of Blaze Blue is like because, uh, you know, uh, he's from another universe. Anyways, now we're going to be fighting Hibiki. Man, I don't know, I gotta say, I don't know what is it that you guys see in Hibiki and why is he such a big fan favorite, but if it's because he's a reference of Attack on Titan, or if not, then, I mean, still, it's pretty cool. Whoa, what was that? Okay. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Rebel 1. Action! Yeah, there we go. And if you're asking, uh, if you're wondering what, uh, what difficulty am I playing on, don't worry, I'm playing on normal mode, because, I mean, because, I mean, that's what most fighting game players would do, and when it comes to Blaze Blue, of course I'm going to play the game on normal mode, I mean... Like I said, I mean, I don't know if I said this before in my previous Let's Plays. I, I prefer games that aren't too easy, but are not too hard either. So I like being a middle-of-the-road type of character when I play uh, video games, but whatever. My eyes look a little differently. Split yourself up as much as you want, but I can see right through you. Huh, that's pretty cool. Um, and sorry that I have to read the victory quotes because, well, this game is, uh, only in, uh, Japanese, and they didn't bring back the English dub, which is a disappointment. Man, I miss the English dub of Blaze Blue. It's so cool. And would you look at that? My first rival battle is against Celica. Yeah, there's rival battles in Blaze Blue for story purposes. Alright. Man, this place looks dangerous. What am I doing here? Where the heck is this? Yeah, great job going through the boundary, but I've got no idea where I'm headed. Ugh, search for me, she says. Where the hell should I start? That girl looks pretty normal. She's wearing a school uniform, though that doll she's walking with is quite abnormal. Um, excuse me, could you help me with some directions? Uh, I don't think you want directions from Celica now, though. Hmm? Me? Oh, sure, ask me anything. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? I'm sorry. What's gotten into you, Minerva? Huh? Wait! Eek! Wait, what's going on? Is it going berserk? Shit, I gotta stop it! Okay, well that's crazy. Why is Minerva all of a sudden attacking Naoto? Alright, but we'll find out soon.
one. Now to win. All right, let's go. Oh, that was a close one. But yeah, like I said, I missed the English dub for Blaze Blue. But even though the uh, English dub is gone, I mean, they did bring back the English dub, but it was only for cross tag battle. But at least the cross tag battle English dub was uh, still pretty good as the uh, as the other ones. I mean, considering that they did rehire all the uh, old voice actors. Stop right there, please, Minerva. Stop this. Looks like it calmed down. Yeah. But damn, that surprised me. Hey, are you hurt? No. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. Say, this might not be the best time, but I'm actually looking for someone. A girl. Um, she's blonde, pale, and rather rude, actually. Oh, and she's got a huge ribbon. Hmm. Oh, wait. Ribbon? Rabbit? I think I know someone who matches that description. Uh, that might not be the same person you're thinking of, Celica. Really? You know her? Yeah, a friend of mine sounds just like that. Want me to take you there? You, you're a huge help. Thank you so much. Uh, now I'll tell you just made a big mistake, because like I said, you don't want directions from Celica. And that might not be the same person you're looking for. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, now we're fighting the big mad dog, Azriel. Hmm. I've never played an, uh, and I'm gonna be honest, I haven't played any online matches uh, of Blaze Blue just yet. I mean, I have played for t cross tag battle, but not for Central Fiction or any other game because, well, I don't know why, and I don't have a membership uh, to play online, and that's mostly because I'm playing on my brother's Switch. Like, if I ever get another Switch, which I'm planning to do, guys. I will uh, do more Blaze Blue Central Fiction Let's Plays. Maybe I might do some online matches with you guys if you're interested. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, by the way, speaking of English dubs, I just wanted to point out, like, before the match ended uh, in the last um, round, that um, Naoto's voice actor, Billy Kamez, who voiced him in Cross Tag Battle, did a, such a fine job. Though I am very sad that he passed away back in 2022, and it's really sad. I mean... If they did continue Blaze Blue and brought back the English dub, just imagine the cool stuff that Naoto could be saying in like um, any game in general. Or imagine if they still use the English dub. Imagine if they did actually successfully get the English dub to return for Central Fiction. I would still be happy and still satisfied. But with that being said, even if they do bring back the English dub, who's gonna voice Naoto? Well, for that reason, I think because Billy Camus, he did such a great job. I think his replacement should be Ray Chase. And if you don't know who Ray Chase is, he's done a lot of voices like Noctis from Final Fantasy uh, 15. He's played Winter Soldier and some of the Marvel stuff. Uh, he's also played Susanoo from Blaze Blue. Well, specifically Cross Tag Battle. So yeah, he would have the same voice for Susanoo and Naoto. And that does it. These numbers? You mean you weren't even fighting me with all your strength? You're one hell of a monster. Really? <laughs> yeah, Azrael is one hell of a monster, believe me. I mean, his strength is freaking um, enormous. I mean, dude can literally shatter an, an entire uh, mountain in half. Alright, now we're gonna fight Izayoi. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Ah, come on, Izayo, well, let's go. Ah. Uh. 
Oh dang. Dang, she's really kicking my ass. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Damn it. Okay, it doesn't matter. I I'll get you next round. Yo, quit blocking! Ah, oh, dang it, didn't kill. Oh, oh no. All right, there we go. All right, let's go. All right. Come on. Uh, just so you guys know, I can't see my camera, so if it's hard for you guys to see some stuff, then I really apologize because uh, because I'm using uh, uh, some stuff to hold uh, hold my phone camera so that you guys could uh, could see. Hopefully, oh, damn it! Well, this is embarrassing. Just lost the uh, I just lost my first match in arcade mode. I can feel it. Something deep inside of me is telling me you're evil. What on earth are you? Are you, uh, is, uh, Tsubaki, um, Naoto is not evil. Just want to clarify that. Okay, round two, guys. And if you're wondering why Naoto's colors are different, I wanted to change the colors to make them look a bit different since, I don't know, I just felt like it. And, um... I like I like these alternate colors. Um, so in blaze blue, some of these alternate colors uh, are similar to uh, other anime characters, or they're being referenced to to look like each other, or sometimes they would even uh, have alternate colors to look like uh, Guilty Gear, Undernight in Birth, or Persona Four characters, which is kind of ironic because in Persona Four Arena, Undernight in Birth, they would cross over with Blaze Blue via cross tag battle. And despite the fact that we haven't even gotten a single Guilty Gear crossover, I like how they still give us some Guilty Gear alternate colors. And of course, uh, Naoto is supposed to be a reference of Sin Kisuke from Guilty Gear, which is awesome. Definitely fits him. Oh, sorry guys, I just needed to see how do I do one of a... Uh... Okay. I wanted to see how do I do one of uh, my distortion drives. All right, there we go. <laughs> Justice and evil have nothing to do with me. I just made a promise, and I intend to keep it. Ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> See, I told you, um, now it's always an evil. Oh, snaps! Okay, so, next rival battle is, uh, Valkenhayn. This ought to be interesting. Oi! Hey! Hey, man! Where did she go? Sure she didn't, sure, she sure didn't make it easy to follow, despite giving me directions. Hey, like I said, don't take directions from Celica, she's not good at it. What? Could it really be? Naoto Kurogane? What? What do you want with me, old man? Wait, 
I know this presence. Valkenhine? Oh, so they know each other. What on earth are you doing? Hold on, sorry. What are you doing here? No, how did you get here? Ha, I like to ask you the same thing. So why the hell are you so old? Is this like the future or something? But perfect timing. You probably know, right? I'm looking for someone. Try elsewhere. In fact, go back to the world where you hence for came. You don't belong here. Well, that wasn't too welcoming. Not even gonna listen to what I have to say. I'm looking for her. The as I said, silence. You are more stubborn than you look. I shall send you back into the cauldron by force. Well, damn. Okay. Well, that just came out of nowhere. I didn't know Valkenhayn and Naoto actually know each other. But dang, that was just uh, out of nowhere. Well, hey, at least, at least, um, at least they're nothing like uh, Ragna and Valkenhayn's interaction. I mean, because Valkenhayn he hates Ragna as far as I'm concerned because, like, you guys know he doesn't like him because, well, he has no manners and because, uh, you know, I really shouldn't have to explain it to some of you who already know Blaze Blue, or if you guys have already seen my recent videos. But this is honestly surprising to see that Naoto uh, knows someone from this world or. Something like this. I mean, but like I said, this is a uh, Naoto's from another dimension, so it kind of makes sense. Still, I wonder what would happen. I wonder what's gonna happen if uh, he meets Ragna. Maybe we'll probably find out when we um when we beat arcade when we beat arcade mode. Uh, uh, I don't know, Act One or Act Two. It doesn't matter. All right. Ugh. You've become quite strong, or perhaps I've grown old. Yeah, no shit, Valkenhayn. Hey, Valkenhayn, you said something about a cauldron. You mean there, there are cauldrons here too? So there are. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Take it easy, old man. Now tell Kurogani, do not seek the azure. I'm warning you. Sorry, no can do. Hmm, what does Naoto need with the Azure? We'll probably find out next with- Oh, there she is, Rachel! Now, it's about time we get some explanations from her, or whatever's gonna happen. Still. Alright. All right, let's do this. I thought I could figure something out if I head the, to the cauldron, but where the heck is it? Where the, uh, where the heck is this place? Hey, is that you, Raquel? Ragna? No, you're not. But you are somehow... That's not you. What the heck is this weird sensation, then? What, what the heck was that? Impossible. Life Link? This is terrible. At this rate, Ragna's existence is going to be affected. Nani? It feels like with this other person, say, who you, who are you? Who are you? Tell me what's going on here. Uh, sorry if I'm, uh, end up, uh, you know, messing up my reading. I would have loved to hear the answer to that myself. Who are you? And why are you here? What do you want? Whoa, whoa, slow down. One question at a time. Um, I'm Naoto Kurogane, and I'm looking for someone named Raquel. Raquel? Hmm, maybe it'll be easier if I put it this way. I'm looking for the Azure Grimoire. Any idea where I can find it? It seems you must be eliminated right away. Oh, that's not gonna go good. 
So Rob, so now Tails looking for the Azure Grimoire as well. This is gonna be crazy. Um, sorry if I don't know too much about Naoto. I'm just, I, I just want to learn a little bit more about him because I have not read any of the Blood Edge Experience comics because I don't really have much interest. And they might be in Japanese, so I don't know if they're in Japanese or English or not. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, again, I have no interest in reading the Blood Edge comics. But if I do, then it would be cool, okay? So, sorry to all you Naoto fans. So you'll have to cope with me uh, learning as as much as I go. Oh, come on. Yo, quit blocking, Rachel! All right, there we go. The drive is the blood edge. What's going on? That's my line. Your drive, the tempest. How can you be so similar? You're not yet not be related at all. Oh dang. That's si simply to you, you insolent little release me. Oh, no, I'm not. I've got a ton of questions for you. In fact, I don't even know where to start. So once more, I'm looking for a Raquel Alucard. Huh? She looks just like you. Yeah, she does. Alucard? What do you mean? Only I carry father's bloodline now. Father? You mean Clavis Alucard? How on earth do you... Uh-oh. Disappeared? Then the teleport... That was teleportation magic. Naoto Kuragane. I don't know him. I shouldn't know him. Yet... Why is it so painful? Hmm, I'm wondering why, too. And now we have to fight nine, huh? Yep. Just as I thought. Because every, every time you play Act 1, nine is always the final boss of that act. Then Act 2, you have to fight Izanami, and then whoever is your final match, depending on what character you play as. Alright, nine. Let's hear from you. Man, I love Nine's theme song. It's so catchy. Whoa, what the? Teleportation? Or was that a phenomenon intervention? You know some pretty difficult words, boy. What? Who are you supposed to be? Naoto Kurogane. Unfortunately, my plan doesn't call for outsiders like you. I need you to walk off the stage immediately. Now this now is that how you greet everyone you meet? I've learned the hard way to crush anything outside the plan sooner rather than later. I confess the prize was quite high, however. I don't give a damn about the price. Besides, I've sacrificed a lot to make it this far too. I can't back down until I find her. Alright. I don't know if Nine's gonna wreck my shit or kick my ass. Up. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, I was over exaggerating. I was just joking. I didn't mean it literally. Alright, but still. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Alright, but it's not over yet because we of course got the second round to go. Oh. 
Yo, stop. Yo, quit spamming your spells, Nine. Oh no! Damn it! Okay, I can't lose this next round. Come on! Damn it! Again, I apologize uh, if I'm uh, not that not that good. Like I said, I love fighting games, but I'm not that not that good at them. All right, come on! No, yes, I just countered that bitch with a divot with a overdrive. Come on! Come on! No! Damn it! Come on! Yes! Surprising. You're actually quite good. And this power, is it the same or rather similar? Holy shit, you're strong. How the hell am I supposed to beat you? <laughs> but there's someone much stronger than you. Closer than you think. This is much easier than fighting that monster. Monster? I see. I think I'm beginning to understand why you're in this world. But let me warn you, even if, even if there is the one person you care about, I suggest you return to your world. This one will collapse soon. It's ever so long history and tragedies, their existence will be denied. And everything will return to the void. Alright, well that was a bit different from, uh, from the other arcade endings. Alright, to be continued... Yeah, that was a bit different from the other arcade endings where every time uh, at the end, Nine would say you must defeat Izanami and stuff. But still. Alright, skipping through the credits and... Yeah, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, sorry. Like I said, I'm using uh, something to carry, uh, to carry my camera. Alright. Anyways, yeah, so that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll do Act 2 uh, as soon as possible, whenever I can. And, yeah, so you know the drill. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, uh, peace out, guys.